ferry bridge, its platoon of cooling towers, is the front gate of South Yorkshire. Pass through, and you're in the boiler room of the region. Rotherham, Sheffield, Doncaster. The landscape has been brutalised. Down there, they rip out the coal, forge the metal, build the muscle of industry. A lot of sweat has been spilt in South Yorkshire, and some blood. South Yorkshire breeds proud and positive men. The Boycotts, the Trumans, the Scargills. Men who expect life, whether work, sport or politics, to issue a personal challenge. As for sport, it nourishes rugby league. Clubs like Castleford and Featherstone Rovers. Teams that win. For winning is not just hoped for here, but expected. But there is one team that's different. Doncaster. It loses. South Yorkshire, you don't have gallant losers, just losers. In this particular season, it has been a remorseless run of defeat and derision for Doncaster. Played 19 matches, lost 19. Their new coach has just quit, and so has their chairman. But Tom Morton stays on. He bears the weight of running Doncaster on a day-to-day -day basis. He's the general manager, sits on the board of directors and lives barely the length of a rugby pitch from the ground itself. They call Doncaster's ground Tattersfield. It's apt. The fabric reflects the despair of the club. Only success fills rugby league grounds. But a small group of people steadfastly support the club and help to run it whatever happens. We're all rugby league fanatics. We've got to be. We've got to be. We've got to be fanatics and super optimists, really, to be connected with rugby league in Doncaster. And well, that's what we are. You know, we feel we're doing. We feel under great difficulty. We're doing a service for the town, I suppose. Um, I believe that Doncaster hold certain world records. Yes, yeah, somebody bought me a Guinness Book of Records for Christmas yesterday. It's what the longest losing sequence. Um, I believe it was 40 games. You know, we didn't go two seasons without losing a match. So it was like end of one season and beginning of another. Have you ever gone an entire season without winning a match? Not yet. This is what we're worried about. And we also held a record of the team who scored the most points away from home while losing. 
we got beat 34, 32 at Bramley or something like that, you know. You know, I mean, I, I, walk, I walk through Doncaster um, and everybody, you know, I uh, won again, you know, I hear what's happening this week, how many will they score this week, will they declare and all that sort of thing, you know. You, I've heard all the cracks about bad, bad rugby teams. Tell me, does all this affect your home yeah. life? You know, what, a, what about your family? No, it's, uh, I don't really take it home. I mean, it's not far home, but I don't really take it home. It's just here, you know, I come on a... I come... I see every home match, and majority of the away matches. Um, you see, I, I watch the A-team as well. And a good result for us is to get 15 players out on the field before the kickoff. That's a start, you know. Then we've started. We've got the 15 players here on time, and we've started. I've been on the Whitehaven ground when they were with just 13 players. Had to borrow a scrum half. Who fed the scrums for the first six scrums, give them six penalties, and we got beat 12-5. We did very well against a, a very strong Hull side in the A-team um, just before Christmas. And that were a triumph. I think they beat us 13-8 or something like that. I used to enjoy the rugby league season. But every September, I can't wait till May till the cricket starts. And it's, it's a situation that's got uh, got into, really, by being involved too closely with it. I like the Wembley final, because we never involved too closely with it. But the way to Wembley is very attractive, laced with cash from the sponsors. Today it's the first round, and Doncaster have been drawn away to Rochdale Hornets, another club not too well acquainted with success. It has revived the memory of a glorious moment in Doncaster's history. Ten years ago, they beat Hornets in the first round of the Cup. It warms spirits all round. The news that they cannot play their leading try scorer, Tony Bannum, doesn't depress the team. He's been suspended for not paying a fine. You know you were sent off. Yeah, but you don't know, you don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't come on what matter, you get a point. And, and I've been you sent always off get fined. Oh, yeah. You always get fined. The charity game home, oh, and I've been sending off sufficient. You told me you were fined, you were fined too soon. Sending off sufficient. If we and love no, you, I'm blaming you. Yeah, and no time, time blaming you. Yeah. We can't pay for you. One man who takes little interest in the argument is John Barron. He's agreed to become the new chairman, and that's enough to quieten anybody. Yeah. Well, they're in a bad run. We're in a bad run. We're, we're in the worst. <laughs> we're in a disastrous job. There's bad and bleeding disastrous. Doncaster crossed the Pennines, still buoyed up by the thought of that victory a decade ago. They remember it in Rochdale, too. But it's not mentioned in the Rochdale changing room. Defeatist thoughts are not permitted. If you get yeah. shut yeah. 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 once you've committed yourself. In the Doncaster camp, the jovial atmosphere on the coach has been muted by the size of the task ahead. Soon the exhortations begin. They're unfancied, they're coming here. We've already beat them once this season. A convincing win, but we've got it all to do today. Now the ball's in your lads' court. You're the lads. Let's really knock them down. Nothing dirty, just want it played hard. We take them on early doors, we get a grip in the forwards, and we take them on and we'll learn what it's all about. Back three, you'll be knackered when you come off here today. I want to see it. I want to be bloody sweat drip, dripping. We forget it's Doncaster. We play as if it's the Saints or witness, and we give them some stick. Anyway, lads, it's up to you. The directors have put 100 quid a piece up. It's 100 quid a man. Usual losing money, but it's 100 quid winning money. And, and we've got the money. We want to pay, you know. But you know about Dave Ossel, he's in hospital and all. He's in, not in a very good condition. If you win, Dave Ossel gets 100 quid and all from the directors. So you're not playing for yourself and don't, because you're playing for Dave Ossel. Now come on, all the best to you and let's get it bloody done. Come on, no silly bastards.